I delivered this special message, special remarks from our president, President Nakao. I just uh, read this. Good afternoon. On behalf of the president and the Asian Development Bank, we wish to extend a warm welcome to all the participants of the second Asia Pacific Evaluation Association International Evaluation Conference. We appreciate the work of IPIA President Professor Romeo Santos and funding IPIA President Dr. Ryochi Hirono and others to realize this conference. The IPIA is an important regional organization or engaged to improve theory, practice, use, and institutions of evaluation. Since IPIA was launched in 2012, he has undertaken capacity building on evaluation, in addition to promoting the culture of evaluation throughout our region. This conference brings over 300 person, people to Manila, all linked through evaluation and hailing from governments, parliaments, the United Nations, the private sector, foundations, and civil society organizations. ADB is pleased uh, to support IPR and this 2019 conference here in our headquarters. At ADB, deliver effective results for our vision of a prosperous, inclusive, resilient and sustainable Asia and the Pacific. We are employing rigorous systems of evaluation. Evaluation helps us to do the right things and learn whether we are doing things right. Evaluation findings incentivize staff to improve our work and provide direction on how to further improve. ADB regards both self-evaluation and independent evaluation as indispensable parts of our organization. Self-evaluation is the responsibility of our policy, strategy, and review department. Independent evaluation is the responsibility of our independent evaluation department, which reports directly to our ADB board of directors through its development effectiveness committee. Regarding self-evaluation, ADB adopted results management in 1995, and we have been en uh, enhancing the practice over time. In 2008, we became the first multilateral, multilateral development bank to introduce a corporate scorecard to assess annual performance. We are now adopting a new corporate results framework in line with our New corporate strategy, long-term strategy 2030. We are striving for a more focused results framework with fewer but more meaningful numerical targets. Regarding independent evaluation, it be established a post-evaluation office in 1978, 40 years ago. Over time, the office's mandate expanded in 20 in 2003, it became independent. The office's director general started being appointed by the board of directors upon the recommendation of the president. It began reporting to the board. In 2008, it was then renamed the Independent Evaluation Department. Independent evaluation is essential for the effective and efficient functioning of ADB. This involves systematic assessment of projects, programs, policies, themes, and corporate issues. Self-evaluation and independent evaluation share the same objective of making the institution functions better. ADB is promoting the idea of better coordination between self-evaluation and independent evaluation. Enhanced interaction between IED and the rest of the ADB. Regular dialogue under the leadership of IED and management of ADB. 
by preserving the independence of IED. ADB has been instrumental in bringing together the self and independent evaluation communities of multilateral, multilateral development banks. In 2018, last year, we hosted for the first time ever joint meeting of MDB networks of self and independent evaluation, an initiative we hope will continue in the future. Now, I would like to speak about ADB's corporate strategy 2030 which is to tackle the remaining and emerging development challenges in Asia and the Pacific. Over the past half century, our region has made great progress in poverty reduction and economic growth. And yet, many challenges remain and are emerging. Given the size of the Asia and the Pacific, achieving major global commitments such as the Sustainable Development Goals and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. This will be critical for the region's future development. ADB's Strategy 2030 sets seven operational priorities, namely addressing remaining poverty and reducing inequalities, accelerating gender equality, tackling climate change, disaster resilience, and environmental sustainability, making cities more livable, promoting rural development and food security, strengthening governance and institutional capacity, and from, uh, fostering regional cooperation and integration. There are several clear numerical targets in the strategy. For example, by 2030, at least 75% of our operations in number will actively promote gender equality. We will extend our private sector operations to, two, to one third in number by 2024. To effectively implement strategy 2030, we are undertaking a 180B approach including close collaboration between our sovereign and private sector operations, the, promoting, the promotion of public-private partnership transactions, and greater use of credit enhancement uh, products. Uh, these are also indispensable. We are deploying innovative and integrated solutions for our clients, drawing on the rapid advancement of digital technologies, artificial intelligence, big data, satellite systems, and others. Ladies and gentlemen, the second IPR International Evaluation Conference is an excellent opportunity for us to share experiences and exchange views on the role evaluation plays in pursuing the mission of our institutions more effectively and efficiently. We are happy that many ADB staff are also benefiting from this conference. We wish you all, you, uh, all of you a lively and productive discussions. Thank you very much.